guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. How are you? Hi. Hi. Thank you. I'm okay. Are you excited for today? Hi. I think we didn't die yesterday, so I think we're not going to die today. How was your breakfast? My what? Your breakfast. How was your breakfast? No, I don't like to have breakfast in the morning. No? No. I'm not breakfast guy. What's up, mister? How's everything, Ms. Ivan? So we have Jackson, Cameron, Ivan, and Nicholas connected here. So let's wait just one minute more to start. Where are the other students? I do not. You came from another class, so it means that you were with them. Which class were you before? Sorry, can you repeat? Spanish. Oh, you were in Spanish. And were you a full squad there? Yes, but Miss Dana no, no here. There you go. Hey, uh, hi, teacher. So, buddy, how is everything? Uh, fine. Cool. That's quite cool. Okay, so I think there you go. So Dana is the only one amazing. Yeah, I'm ready. Already yesterday, she never comes to the other class of uh, English. After English, uh, the she last is class of us. Okay, I got it. And already and in Spanish too, she didn't come. Okay, so we can start, right? Let's continue with the workbook. Remember, we're going to continue with the workbook because you have the exam next week. So I don't want to get forward the book, not to get involved with other topics, just to the topics we are, okay? So open up your workbook and let's go. Okay. With the workbook, we're going to work on the first chapter, right? of the first line of chapters. And the first one, we have brain power. And with the brain power, we have a type of reading. Okay, so Mr. Nicholas, can you read it, please? Yes, teacher. So, um, picture this. You're late for an important exam. With the street is covered in ice and you keep sliding over. Still going, teacher? Yep. Or imagine your plane is leaving in an hour, but you can't find your passport. Your hands are sweating and your heart is pounding when suddenly you wake up and realize it was a nightmare. Continue all the way. Everybody has dreams, but what exactly are they? While our body lies mostly still when we are sleepy our brain remains active during the night we go through different sleep stage including rapid eye movement in this stage our eyes shoot around under under our air lights in response to motor signals from the brain um, indicating activity in the form of dreams. Scientists. Okay. Thank you. No, Mr. Ivan, next from scientists. Scientists believe that dreams and imagines originate in the segment of the brain responsible for memories 
awareness, consecutive, and throat. I'll throw the power of brains that take in imagines uh, is sleeps. The part that interpret previously stored imagines is what awake. In order works why we are asleep, our brain is busy making sense of all the impressions and experience we get during the day. So why do our dreams sometimes throw in nightmares? There are many different explanations. The most common was beginning three and traumas. Treasures at worst our school, money worried or traumatic, events called brain or nightmares, other factors include illness, taking medication or eating and drinking too much. Is there anything we can do to protect them? Establish and healthy sleep routine with regular bedtime, not doing exercise at night, eating light dinner and cooking down no coffee, alcohol and other stimulants and scintilly make a difference. As a last resort, psychologist sources and describing drawing or even writing nightmares in a journal can help us understand and control the working of our brain barrier. Okay, so as we can see here is a water nightmare. So it means that it's playing in type of things that we can suffer or that can cause a nightmare, right? Nightmare is when you have a bad dream. So according to this, what type of text is it? We have an article. It, it, it is a story, an article, a review, or a report. An article. It's an article, but well, true. That's correct. So let's go on the next one. Read the text, then she's true or false. Rewrite the full sentence so they are true. What a nightmare. You already wrote the article, so according do you want me to read it again or we can go on the answer? We can go to the answer. Again, again. Please, can you read it again? Okay, I'm going to read it. Picture this. You're late for an important exam, but the street is covered in eyes and you keep sleeping over. Or imagine your plane is leaving an hour, but you can find a passport. Your hands are sweating and your heart is pounding, and suddenly you wake up and realize it was only a nightmare. Everybody has dreams, but what exactly are they? While a body lies mostly still while we sleep in, our brain remains active. During the night, the night we go through different sleep stages, including rapid eye movement. In this stage, our eyes shoot around on the eyelids in response to motor signals from the brain, indicating activity in the form of dreams. Scientists believe this dream in images originate in the segment of a brain responsible for memory, awareness, consciousness, and thought. Although the part of a brain that takes in near images is asleep, the part that interprets previously stored is to images is wide awake. In other words, in other words, while we're asleep, our brain is busy making sense of all the impressions and experiences we got during the day. So why do a dream sometimes turn into nightmares? The many different explanations that must come on one, one's being stress and trauma, pressure at work or school, money worries or traumatic events, can or brain come nightmares. Other factors include illness, taking medication and eating and drinking too much. Is there anything we can do to prevent them? Establishing a healthy sleep routine with regular bedtime, not doing exercise, late at night, eating light, light dinner, and cutting down 
from coffee, alcohol, and other stimulants can certainly make a difference. As a last resort, psychologists suggest that describing, drawing, or even rewriting images in a journal can help us understand and control the working of our brain better. So the first one says, you have a chance to be more slowly during the nightmare. Is it true or false? True. The first is true. No. Yeah. False is <laughs> yes. Why, false. why teacher? False is false because it said that your heart tends to beat more slowly during a nightmare. We're not talking about that. Okay. Yeah. It, it, when we when we experiencing for a nightmare, we're going to get like more heart pressure. So it says that the pressure can stimulate. So that's what's false. Second, during the night. True. Okay, so during dinner, our body shuts oh. down, but our mind oh. keeps working. True. true. Very That's good. true. Third That's one. True. While we sleep, our brain interprets brain. information from the day. True. true. Okay. Nightmares are mainly caused by physical problems. It's true. False. Oh, very good. So we have many type of problems that we can get. A part of physical problems, we could get brain pro problems, we could get pressure, we could get stressed. So, um, yeah. sorry, everybody, a smile. Okay, thank you. Continue. Oh, I didn't. I didn't smile. But well, fifth, relating the nightmares can help you overcome them. True or false? True. Okay. The article claims that nightmares are inevitable or inevitable. True or false? True. False. Nightmares are not inevitable because if we can get like a very good diet, we can sleep and we can get like a normal drive, describing, drawing, or writing with a bunch of help drive at night there. Next one. Draw Teacher, the word. Yep. When I finish the the class, I have I have to send my photo of yeah, my of course. Activity. Okay. your activity of the book. Okay. You have Just, my you have my number? Do you have my number? Of course, that's why you are on my WhatsApp group. So you have to send me the picture. Okay, so choose the correct answer according to the author. Nightmares can easily be prevented. Nightmares are the result of nature, mental, or physical processes, and nightmares are frightening and should be taken seriously. What do you think is the correct one? Mm. The second one. The second one. That's exactly. Is a resolve of mixture of mental physical process. Thank you very much. Continue. Next one. Draw the words to the table to film collocation with May Kudur. You can find some of them in the text. So process, is it make or do? It's make. Progress. Thank you. A fool of yourself. Uh, is it made? Me, Mr. George. Sorry? You, are you concurrently with me, Mr. George? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> A fool of yourself. Is it make or do? Do. Do. I don't see anybody participating a part of the two persons are talking now. So switch on your microphone and participate, please. So a fool of yourself. Mistakes. Make a do. Make. An exam. 
do a mess. What's meaning a mess? A mess is a disaster. Do. Hey. Do a mess. A difference. Make a difference. Make. Make. Sense. Make sense or do sense? Make. I think it's do. Some reading. Do. Ma do. Makes. Okay. Some reading. Some reading. Do. A favor. Do. Mm -hmm. Make. No, it's do. Exercise. Do. Do. Okay, the first one, a mess. You make a mess. You don't do mess. Okay. Make sense. Make mistakes. Yeah. Make progress. Make a fool of yourself and make a difference. The rest is do some breathing, do an exam, do exercise, do a favor. Okay. Next part, answer the questions with your own opinion. Do you ever have nightmares and what are they about? And which do you think is the best tip for dealing with nightmares and why? I want you to leave this for your own self, okay? So you, you have to answer it at home because it's going to be quite okay, hard to me answer this one. Know. Draw the words to complete the sentences. We have past, short term, strategy, drain, deadline, and memory. The first one says, if your hand to you is a too late, you miss the... Memory. Deadline. We're talking about easy. Something that we write. Second, Peter never thinks about the future. He only makes Short-term plans. Short-term plans. Short plans. Very good. Three. Steve only has to read a page once to certain to retain all the information. He's got a photographic memory. Good. I felt so relieved when I the exam. I hadn't expected it. Rain. Past. Fifth, recycling your notes regularly is of us learning a strategy. The phenomenon of talented people leaving the home country to go and work abroad is called brain drain. Brain drain, exactly. Of talented people leaving the home country to go and work abroad, brain drain. Not sure. Cool. I am so sleepy. Okay. Next one. Write your own sentence with this, with the three words from the box. Bring, learn term, and progress. Now you know that you can do it at home, right? Because you have to write. I, I don't understand this point. What okay. So here? with, with the... With the words, you have to write a sentence. Yeah? Example, uh, I always try to use my brain all the time when I'm gonna take a choice. Yeah? That's a sentence. Long term, I always try to make plans in a long term possibility because I like traveling. Yeah? Progress, I want to make progress in some points because it's going to be important for the future. The human brain is uh, more bigger or the kin kinder animal. What the fuck I say? What did you say? Sorry, teacher. I the uh, human <laughs> <laughs> the human brain is the biggest of the kingdom of the animal kingdom. How is it possible? 
if it's a human brain, we we don't belong to the to the animal kingdom. That was crazy. <laughs> Good joke. Next one. Look at its sentences that contain a word, a form of a word, learn. What part of speech, noun, adjective, etc. is it in each sentence? The first one says, Professor Motley was a man of great learning. Is it an adjective or a noun? Or an adverb or what? Second, this is a useful dictionary for learners of English. Some learned people are actually up to the didactics. The experts spoke learnedly about his specialization for now. The answers are noun, noun, adjective, and adverb. Now stretch. Abstract, plural, adjective, and a verb. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Next one. Complete the sentence with the correct form of a word memory. I have some great of my trip to Cuba. What do you think the words say? Dreams. Dreams. Memories. Remembrance, right? Because I remember, so I went to Cuba on a trip and I have a memory. Second, it was a very occasion when a team won the league. Memory. Memorable. 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 Okay. Third, experts say we can only about 10, 12 new words a day. We can only what? Memory. Memorize. Good. We can only memorize about 10, 12 new words today. Fourth, <laughs> yeah. it's an impressive word on top of a hill. Memorial. Memories, memorable, memorize, and memorial. So with one word, we have some sort of words here. Yeah, the kind of divided and part of the same word. I'll repeat. Memories, memorable, memorize, memorial. Next part. Drop to hit handings. Sorry, drop to handings to complete the text. And we have visual auditory and tactile or tactile in the American tactile or tactile auditory and visual. Does any one of you want to read it? The first one is auditory. Okay, so can you read please? From here. Yes. Okay, okay. Now everybody learns in the same way. Different learning prefer different learning styles. According to a spirit, this can be divided into three main types. First one is auditory. auditory. Okay, can you continue reading, please? Me. Yeah. Okay. Auditory. These students like to receive side spoken information in the form of lectures, discussions, audio, recordings, or podcasts. When students, sorry, sorry, when studying, they like to read aloud and record the symbols themselves. Themselves. Okay. Visual. Miss Cameron, can you read it? These students prefer to see information present in books, articles, web page, images, or videos. 
they like t-shirts to use PowerPoint presentations or whiteboards. They, they tend to take lots of notes, use night lighters, and prepare charts as the study aids. Thank you. Talk tile, Mr. Roa, please. Yeah. Yeah. Can you read it, Mr. Roa? From. From Tatil. Tatil. These students prefer information that is transmitted in a hands-on practical way such as such as in <laughs> in love I don't know how to laboratories 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 workshop workshop or participatory classes. They like at they like they like to touch, hold and manipulate the subject matter. Okay. Right. That was cool. Next one. Match the descriptions to the appropriate learning style of the text. Write eight, auditory, T, tactile, or v, visual. Do you want me to read the text again, or are you okay? We are, for me, okay. Can you read it again, teacher, please? Okay. Learning styles. Nobody learns in the same way. Different learners prefer different learning styles. According to experts, this can be divided into three main types. Auditory. The students like to receive spoken information in the form of lectures, discussions, audio recordings, or podcasts. When studying, they like to read aloud and record themselves. Visual. The students prefer to see information presented in books, articles, web pages, images, or videos. They like teachers to use PowerPoint presentations or whiteboards. They tend to take lots of notes, use high lectures and prefer shots and study aids. Tactile. The students prefer information that is transmitted in a hands-on practical way. Such as in laboratories, workshops and participatory classes. They like to torch, hold and manipulate the subject matter. Okay. So it, it talks about the three different ways we have to get learning styles, auditory, visual, and tactile. Tactile when you touch, visual when you see, and auditory when you read, like, right? Or when you listen to. All right. So the first one said, these students enjoy finding out information by doing experiments. Is it auditory? Yeah. T, okay. Not true. Second, prefer to revise by rereading T notes. B. Cool. Fourth, absorb information best in diagrams. No, a study by reading aloud and repeating. Sorry. A study by reading aloud and repeating. Again, A. 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 Fourth, observe information best in diagrams. Visual. Not true, visual. Fifth, like to brush up on the language here but listening to cities. Visual. No audio. A. Auditory. Not true. Sixth, easily pick up. New words from conversation. T T T T T. Visual. Hey. By recording and postcards. Recording and postcards. They would like to read a lot of. Ah, 
Right conversation. Exactly, so, new words. Cool. The conversation, the talk. It was this. Oh. Last okay. one. Last one. Drunk the words to the definition. We have pick up, study, observe, revise, find out, brush up on. The first one, refresh and improve your knowledge. Brush up on. Okay, try to learn. Study. Excellent. Acquire knowledge in an informal way. Mm. Find out. Pick up. Pick up. You pick oh. up information that's informal. Next, fully understand what you have learned. Absorb. 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 Receive it. Absorb. Not sure. Discover. Find out. Find out. Study again before exam. Revise. Revise. Revise, that's true. Now we finish. What time is it? It's... What nine. type of... Wait a second. What type of learner are you and how do you know? I want you to give a composition here. So you have three type of exercises that you're supposed to read. I'm, I'm going to give you the eight minutes we have to finish the exercises of reading and to send me the picture. Okay, okay. So what? go get them. Finish no, all the Spanish. No. Hello, hello, is Spanish, man. Who spoke Spanish? Jordi. George. Yeah, George, I heard you. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so sorry. finish the exercise, please. Complete the exercise. Please take the picture and send it on WhatsApp. Uh, teacher, I don't understand the last one. The last one says, what type of learner are you? And I how do you know? Me. Yeah, remember we have three type of learning way, right? Auditory visual and tactile so you're going to tell you're going to tell me what type of learner are you if you're audio visual if you're auditory visual or tactile and you're going to tell me how do you know you are a type of learner uh, i am tactile because i like to uh, get experiments on my own i like to practice touching things i like to to get information by experience etc so you're going to give me the explanation of a type of learner you are and I say I watch, sorry, I, I say why I learn this type. Yeah. Okay. So if you're visual, you can say, yeah, I am a visual learner because I like to watch TV and I like to, to watch movies and that's where I learn English, etc., etc., etc. Six minutes to finish. Uh, can teacher can you show me the the seventh one please the what the set uh, the question number seven write your own sentences with these with the three words from the box yep mm. Why, sorry, Mister, what is long term? Long term is something you do in a in a long period of time. Long oh. term.
Teacher, I already have it. You have what? The three sentences. Who's talking to me, Nicholas? Yes. Okay, tell me the first one. Um, zombies like to eat brains. Oh, oh my God. I that like it. Good. Yeah, resting in evil, right? Yes, yeah, second one. The, the coronavirus is going to be a long term. Maybe just long, a long term disease. Okay. Yes. And the quarantine is going to be a long process. Okay, that kind of hopeful that you are, right? The hopeful yeah. words. Yes, you should. Did you like it? I loved it, especially about the zombie and the brain thing. <laughs> it was really original. It was a big. Three minutes to finish. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Three minutes. Finish and send me the picture. Yeah, no, bye, your son. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. I haven't said bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. No, no. Bye, your son. The other one. Okay. No, 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 no. What's no. up, Mr. Nicholas? Tell me something. And the other and the Nicholas. <laughs> can you can you see the 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 son of Jotson? Nicholas. What's what what's the song of Jotson? Rata Rata. It's like a Rata. Ah yes, yes, yes. Jotson, Jotson. <laughs> no 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 Jotson. Can you read it? I don't understand. That's great. Yes, yes, yes. So listen to me. You can talk, you can sing, and you can get any kind of talk here on WhatsApp. Listen to me. Remember that you don't have kind of good marks with me, right? So if you participate during the class, I can help you with your marks. So today, I, part I, always, part I always participate. In Teacher, can you record? Recond on me uh, a page of uh, practice English. Listen to me, Paige. Jobson, today you're going to get one point, okay? Mr. Mm. Roa, today one. you can get one point. And Mr. And, me, uh, and Nicholas, and everyone, and, because we are participating in the class. You actually, I am not washing your faces, and I am just. Because when to I your write. Boy. Oh, Mister, when I write in the book, I can't show my face, but I'm here. I know. So why, why, why do you get forward if I haven't mentioned your name? I should punish you. I want Josh and two points. What happened, George? And Mister Kanyas, Cameron, and Mister Nicholas. <laughs> Please try to try, try, try to incre increase or to raise your participation a little bit more. Remember, you have some, some exams with, with the low low mark. So I want I want I want you to increase it. So please try to be on for on board. So it was a pleasure for me to talk to you today. Please wash your hands. Thank you. Sure, I'm gonna send you. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you are the pictures. I received it already. Ivan and George, I have. So teacher, yeah. but teacher, teacher, what about me? I don't have the book. Yeah. By your reading, you have to participate and you have to be, you know, to pay attention to my screen. Yes, so if you, try, if you try to I tell don't... me, if you try to tell me all the the information I'm requiring on screen of course i'm not going to let you down yeah. but if you're done sure but i participate today right okay.